young man from California. He's a young man with a lot of talent. You talk about potential, he's a guy that certainly has a lot. Tic-tac-toe passing, score! Kotorenko! 90 seconds left on the power play, Kotorenko! My parents both met in Belarus. They got married there, and then my dad came here when he was pretty young, like early 20s, and I uh, was looking for work, and you know, found found work in New York, and then moved to San Fran, and then my mom came. Grew up living in Bay Area, California my whole life. Kind of moved around, went to San Diego for a year, and then went back up to California and San Francisco. I love the beach, just going out boogie boarding was kind of my thing, <laughs> it was fun. Always outside all the time. And then I started playing hockey a little bit and then kind of realized I was pretty good. <laughs> a lot of work in like the garage, you know, those roller hockey pucks, kind of banging up the garage door in our house a little bit. Even with my dad, I'd go like, <laughs> trying to get me to like chase after him. I'm like, oh my God, like you're an old man. And I'm like 12 years old. It's a lot of extra stuff, kind of individual skill work away from, you know, team stuff at the rink. When I was 11, we moved to Irvine. This Russian coach, he kind of got to talk to my dad at a tournament one time and liked my game and they thought I could uh, eventually move down and play with them and, you know, kind of see where it goes. And my parents decided <laughs> it was a good opportunity to kind of grow my game. After Irvine, I played like another three years up in NorCal. Like my last year in California, I was traveling a lot for to play for the LA Selects. We would practice on the weekends, so like every Friday after after school, sometimes Thursdays, we'd hop on a plane, fly down to LA, we get picked up by a coach or another teammate, and then we go practice, play games, a couple games on the weekend if we had them, and then head back up Sunday. <laughs> so it was pretty crazy for some 13-year-olds or 14-year-olds to be doing, but I mean, that's kind of the life of hockey in California. I mean, it's pretty intense. <laughs> Not a lot of teams, so you gotta kind of you know, figure it out. After that, it was we decided that was kind of crazy. So it was either do that again or come up to Michigan. And we thought me moving to Michigan and billeting was kind of the better option at that point. My ultimate goal is always to, you know, play in the NHL. <laughs> That's kind of the most important thing, I think. My parents were sacrificing everything for it. They always thought I could make it. And I think my Dad always believed in me the most. There's so many teams here, so many ranks, there's so many good players here. Like, just uh, it's way more competitive. You know, you're always playing in Michigan. I feel like you get a little bit more exposed, and you're playing against better guys. I think so, which also leads to you know you getting better. Playing for USA was an incredible honor. Putting on the USA jersey was definitely a big accomplishment of mine. Super great honor. I mean, amazing to represent your country in you know a number of tournaments we played. It was very unfortunate though. I like broke my leg before a couple weeks before the last you know U18 World Championship, and you know I wasn't able to play in that. But I mean, other than that, it was a great experience for me. And you know, playing against the best guys in the country definitely I think helped improve my game a lot. I thought that injury uh, was kind of a major uh, turning point in my life because, you know, I never had been injured or you know, broken a bone or anything in my body up until that point. I was honestly kind of shocked to hear the doctor say, you know, hey, you got a broken leg. <laughs> so I was like, wow. Um, so I kind of sat down with my parents and, you know, decided, uh, you know, maybe Major Junior is not the way to go. You never know what's going to happen. But at the same time, Michigan State was a great opportunity for me and to earn my degree at the same time in case I do get injured again at some point, even down the road playing hopefully in the NHL or pro somewhere else, I always had my degree to fall back on. Appleton rank oh wide in the yes. far circle, shot, goal for Michigan State. Woo. Kornarenko with his first as a Spartan. I think we're going to see a lot of those from that young freshman.
Patrick and I have known known each other a long time, and uh, I was fortunate enough to coach him with the U.S. team. So it, it's been a nice process. So I had him two years there, and then uh, three years total here. So you know, five uh, five out of the last six years we spent together. And you know, it's been nice to see him you know grow up as a man uh, as much as on the ice. Kodorenko off the turnover in man the save. Kodorenko buries it on the rebound. I think I can grow my game and help MSU grow as well at the same time. I thought I'd play a lot here. Coming off an injury, and I didn't really know like if some other teams would maybe play me as much, but you know, I had a great opportunity here with some good players like you know Taro and Louie the next year, so I thought I had some great line mates coming in and managed to do pretty well offensively and you know, just kinda working on every aspect of my game, you know, each year here trying to get a little bit better and I think that was the most important thing for me. Todorenko whips it to the circle, score! And that's why they keep that trio out there again. Eddie and I played together when we were younger for a couple years and then spread out for a couple years and then, uh, you know, got to get back together here uh, my freshman year. In two years together there and, you know, going on our third one here is, uh, you know, it's pretty special. I consider myself very lucky to, to come here every day and put the uniform on with him. I think on the ice, he's, he's such a strong body, such a physical presence out there, and I don't think guys want to play against him. He has a very strong stick, and the ability to make plays and to score goals is you know something other teams are aware of every time we're playing against him. And then you know, off the ice, I just think he does the right things, and he might not be the loudest guy in the locker room, but the way he drives himself and goes about himself in workouts and just proves he's a good leader here. Lewandowski with Kodorenko the other way. Kodorenko in, shoots, scores! Patrick Kodorenko! He's a professional about the way he goes about things. You know, he's, he's there early, he gets prepared, he, he practices real well, he's focused on what we're doing. Um, he executes, and that carries over the games. And I think he's a great example for the younger guys. And I think as he's gotten older, he's, he's more apt to, you know, go down on the power play and talk to one of the younger guys. That helps everybody buy into what we're trying to do around here. And you're on, I'm on the other side. Yeah. Like, I've always had a, you know, offensively creative game, and I've always been kind of able to produce. Coach Cole, I mean, he's helped me a lot knowing where to be and playing with my defensemen a little bit smarter. It's especially just my awareness and helped me with that aspect of my game for sure. It's kind of starting to hit me more now that I'm a little bit older. Like, wow, like, <laughs> I did all this crazy stuff at such a young age, like just for hockey, like, you know, obviously it panned out. And my parents made a smart move, I guess, you know, sending me out here and grateful my parents kind of took that risk. I think it definitely worked out for the best. Playing here in Michigan definitely grew my game and I think playing at USA and then coming here, I think has been some major stepping stones in my career. The thing I really have liked about Patty is that he's just he's kept getting better year after year after year, and um, you know even coming into his senior year, sometimes guys flatline a little bit, but you know and he kept working on different things and he's become more of a leader. You know one of the captains on our team, and uh, he's just just done a great job, and it's fun to be around somebody that long and see him progress that much. We were doing the addition over there in Mun, and it's taken a lot of work, and, and we've tried to you know, promote some things outside and, you know, you know what Patrick and uh, Louie have done um, and, and I'll throw Taro in that group. I mean, I thought last year they were the best uh, line in college hockey and um, they kind of have enabled us to have a, a bit of a face to the program and, and, and some excellence and kind of show people the direction we're going. So, you know what, I think their ownership uh, in, in the program is huge and I think, you know, when they come back, you know, five, 10, 15 years from now, and they, they see where the program's at, and they see where the building's at, they should uh, they should take a lot of pride in it and know that, that they had a, a huge impact on us getting that done as fast as we did. I'll be coming back here for many more years, and I'd love to see how this program can build, build off what we've done these past three years. You know, they've been a grind. I really want to see this team improve to, you know, its full potential. I think the guys here have a lot of heart, a lot of compete. We can play with anyone in the country, we just gotta kind of believe in ourselves and you know, hopefully when I come back here in a few years, you know, they're at the top of the standings in the Big Ten like we are right now and I will be coming back here to use that new sauna and the <laughs> new renovation, so yeah, I'm excited for that as well. I think it's worked out for the best for so far.